it might be a little weird if we go here where they keep the dogs and we don't have any dogs. People might stare at us. They might think we are perverts, which we are. So, haha on them. In today's episode, how do you do in two episodes? Well, welcome to Stories of My Life. So I'm really, really late. I'm meeting Mar Magnus on Serda in about a quarter of an hour and I'm still at home. So I texted him that I would be late, but because I, I miscalculated enormously. I thought, well, I don't have to leave until one o'clock and then I realized, no, wait. I have to be there at one o'clock. So into the shower I went and uh, here I am, smelling like a daisy. Do they smell? Anyway, join me. Talk about rude awakening, God. Anyway, I was on the phone talking to my internet provider, my surf provider. That what do you call? Because they were sort of, I got this text saying that sort of your surf, your internet, well, your phone is sort of almost running out and I thought well I'm supposed to have unlimited so I've been on the phone fixing that hopefully it'll work otherwise you know you won't see this the good news is that Magnus is in Stockholm and I'm meeting him he's just here visiting you know he usually you know like you know well you do know he's uh, now living in Malmö temporarily He's uh, in a show called Everybody's Talking About Jamie that I'm going to see this all winter. Yeah, Christmas. Oh, I need to book that. Damn it. Anyway, so today we are going for a walk and then we're going to have empanadas. And after that, I'm eating Git at Lila Circus at Djurgården and we're going to see a show I, that I don't know. It's not a comedy show. I think it's something really serious. But uh, yeah, join me and you will find out as I found out. Should have been there two minutes ago, but I'm five minutes away, so I will be about seven minutes late, which is really rude. I do hate being late because I always give people such a hard time when they are late. So, uh, oh, I'll buy him a, an ice cream and everything will be forgotten. Yeah. So I'm here, I'm six minutes late, so that wasn't so bad. So I'm late. Where's he? Where's he? Where is he? How can I pronounce that in the wrong way? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There is he. And I think he's got a new jacket. But I'm not sure. He might be. He's very cool. He's very cool. He lives in another city now, so he's, so, he's sort of, he's, he's, yeah, he's not really here. Is that a new jacket? Mr. Hello, famous personality. Are you talking to you? Am I talking? <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, there is a pathway. Up. We're on, on the south of Stockholm, the Södermalm, and there's a pathway that goes on the highs, on the, on the mountains of the, the high levels of the Södermalm. And we're going to, it's a very famous pathway. So go there and see the view and just uh, feel fresh air. Oh, it's called Montelliusvägen. <laughs> so, what's the name of this street? Brennerkyrkagaten. The, the, they burnt down the church street. And where is that church? Well, they burned it, didn't they? Yes. Oh, sorry, we're not speaking Swedish. 
Uh, we are speaking Swedish. <laughs> this is a famous uh, poet and, uh, and uh, composer. And, uh, yeah. And he lived on that street over there for a while, it says. So uh, we are we're going this way and then we're going to go on this path that you can see down there, which is supposed to have a wonderful view. Just wonderful, wonderful view. Who is it? Don't Ulla Adolfsson. Yes, here we are in the... Yeah. Yeah? Actors and guys, yeah. yeah. Here we are in the in the beginning of the Montecilli. Well, we're not in the beginning. We're sort of soon very in the beginning of the Montecilli wagon. We're going going that way and we're going going up. And then we're, gonna, we're going up on cat path. And then we're going to get to the Montecilli wagon. Montecilli wagon. I have it all figured out. I thought we were on the Montecilli wagon, the Montecilli street or the Metellus road but we're not we are on the cat oh. path I don't know cat alley 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 cat smelly cat alley, alley yeah, alley oh sing smelly cat smelly cat smelly cat what are they feeding you possibly it starts now or we're still on the cat on the street yes yeah because it's going that way yeah so we're not there yet. The cat room to be. Can, 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 can the cat alley. Smelly cat. So can you say something about Montelius Wagen? Some story about it or the the what was the, the name comes from? Well, the name comes from a person uh, who lived in Stockholm, Sweden, maybe for a little while, and. Also, Ulle Adolfsson has walked here. He was a very famous person, so it, it's, uh, it's, a f it's famous. Magnus is now Googling Monterius Wagen. He scared himself there for a bit, apparently. Yes. Magnus is trying not to move her lips as he's reading. So, can you tell us about Monterius Wagen, just off your head? Yes, I've yeah? known this... Ev always I've yes. known this. This was named after an historical historical historian Hysterians. and an uh, hysterical <laughs> and an archaeologist archaeologue uh, named Oscar Montelius. Oh. And he lived in a house on St Paul's Street where he was born and uh, was uh, killed uh, dead. Yeah. He, he died there in 1911 was 17 he? in Yes, he died somewhere. <laughs> was he was he shot? Uh, uh, no, but, and he was also a member of the Swedish Academy. Oh, so he was a prominent person. Yes, and the city of Stockholm. Yes. made this into a official alley in 1998. So it's not that old. Oh, it's and it's not an alley, is it? No, this is like a path or like a. How long is this path? 460 meters, 70. 467? No. 416 meters. 416 meters. Yes, yeah. and in ounces, I don't know what it is. And in inches? <laughs> in inches, it's a lot. <laughs> long is cruising. So we've come to this fork in the road, and we—it's a fork. Is it? It's a fork in the road, and we're not sure where to go. Going down or going up? Let's see the map. Yes. Oh, we're going up. Oh. If we're going the Montelius wagon, because if we're going down, we're going to the dog feed the dog park. F feed the dog park. So let's yeah, let's do that. I say no dogs allowed. Who let the dogs so out? out? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look at this astounding view. I give you the old no. What's the name of that island? Rida Holman. Yes. This Knights Island. Oh, we could have been down there. 
Magnus and hund dog part hund dog. Magnus keeps talking about this dog daycare thing. That sort of like. It's, it's like, important that the dogs also get their uh, can shine. Yeah, but do we need to go there? Yes. Okay. Or maybe should we go down and and go, or should we go back and down? I think we should go down now and then we can sort of continue on because you won't shut up about this. Oh, but we have to Oh, go this is this. Baba. Baba. Ole Olofsson's park. Yeah. Oh, We've been there. The... That's the <gasps> Look at that view. And that house. There yeah. It's Rangströmsta Gardens. Oh my god, he's going to give us a lecture. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this is the last time. <laughs> I tell you. Yeah. It's it's called after the the componist, no, the the Com waiter, composer. The, <laughs> the house is called what? Rangströmska Gården. After whom? After Ture Rangström, who was a composer. Ture Rangström. Yes, he lived in this uh, villa from eight, 1908 until his death, 1947. He just got like. 39 years old when he died in that house. So, and they still call it his name? Yes, the last name. The Can sir. you sing one of the songs he composed? And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are going down to look at the. Well, we're going to we're gonna oh, go we're up there later it. on. Yes. Jesus. <laughs> God. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Having a lovely time, being maybe being photographed going down. Oh yes, being photographed going down the stairs. Start spreading my thighs. It might be a little weird if we go here where they keep the dogs and we don't have any dogs. People might stare at us. They might think we are perverts, which we are. So, haha, on them. If I get one drop of dog shit it's on my shoes. He's a singer and a dancer and an all around entertainer. Do, 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 do. I think this is a dog shit part of it because it looks like sort of dogs been dog running. Shit? Well, dogs, they, they shit here, don't they? Yes. Yes. They are. Yeah, so this is the, the dog. That might be dog shit over there. So, but we can go here and this is, we're not, we're not in any danger of, you know, immediate danger of getting dog shit on or on us. After we have set them to stop. You can choose to look at this, or you can, as we did, choose to try to see something in here. Yes, it's a hole. Hello! He's gonna jump! Hey, help him! What the fuck? Well, he's playing music. So, we were walking and we came upon this. This is sort of weird. They built a new park, but they haven't quite finished it, so it's still closed here, but you're supposed to be able to go there later on. This is a really nice walk. It's so much longer and bigger and, oh, well, that's what he said, um, than I thought. 471 metres. Oh, you're so good with numbers. numbers. This is the old town. And that thing you see like that, that's the Stockholm Castle. I have just about seen all there is to see. And I think this is the end. Can you give us a, sort of the, your impression of Monterius Vergen? It's a beautiful thing to do if you're in Stockholm on a sunny, sunny day. It's, and it's not far. It's not a long, long trip walk. I need some food, I think. We're, we're going to eat something. No, so, so come here and, and do this if you don't have anything else to do. Magnus was talking to the old woman and said, please, yeah, she asked, is, that, is this a nice walk? And then he said, yes, it's a nice walk. Please walk it. And now he's looking at 
the film because he started talking to her while filming. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.